Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3 Root.com. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to root your Verizon uh, Galaxy Note 3 uh, using the Root de la Vega method. Um, you'll need a PC for this or a VMware running on Mac or Linux. And let me go ahead and um, try try this now. Uh, my phone actually, I haven't actually touched this since I got it because I wanted to root it. Um, also this root method will erase everything on your phone. And also do take out, uh, if you have an external SD card, um, pull it out before you do this. And also make a backup of all your photos, videos. Your settings will have to be lost. Uh, you'll have to start over all your apps, uh, app data. Um, you're going to have to just lose it uh, because this root method will completely wipe everything. Um, that's because, you know, uh, Verizon has locked it down. So um, we should start a, eh, whatever. Let's go root it. Um, go ahead and turn your phone off. And we're going to put it into download mode. Go ahead and hold down uh, volume down, center home, and the power. So hold down volume down, center home, and the power. Count two, three, one, two, three. Let go of all the buttons. You see the warning screen. Hit volume up, and then go ahead and connect a micro USB cable to your computer. I recommend actually USB 2.0. Um, USB 3.0 has trouble with Odin, so I don't actually recommend it. Um, go, go ahead and connect it, uh, and then let's go to our computer. All right, next, next you're going to have to go download this big file. It's about 2 gigabytes. It's called root de la vega smn900v.7z. Uh, uh, go ahead and unzip it. Um, you can use 7-zip program if, you, uh, if it, you can't unzip it. Go ahead and download and install 7-zip. Just Google it. You can find it. Uh, once you download all the file, uh, the files, and then you unzip the file, you get you probably get a folder such as root data Vega SMN900V with all the files you need. Uh, basically, we're gonna go ahead and run Odin V3.09 here. Say yes, and uh, you should get a one blue uh, box here. I actually have two of my Galaxy Note threes plugged in, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug on unplug my other one. Um, you should see at least one box in blue. Uh, with some kind of random com number as long as you see that it's all good and uh, if you don't see that and you've never installed samsung usb drivers um, go ahead and download the samsung usb drivers from my site um, i have links on my site just go ahead and download it run the usb drivers exe program double click on it so let it run and then unplug your phone and plug it back in and you should see this blue uh, highlighted box if you see that you're ready to go all you have to do is hit uh, ap here and uh, go ahead and go find the file. Um, sorry, it's not that one. Uh, go ahead and find the root data, the folder that you unzip the files. Here we go. And go ahead and choose uh, root data vega .tar md 5 which is this file right here. Go ahead and choose that, hit open. And um, with Odin, you don't have to touch anything else. Uh, that's, that's it. All right, and it's kind of froze on me. I think the file might be too big, so it's it's just taking a little bit. I'll give it a second here, so the file loads. There you go. And again, I've got two comms here. Let me go ahead and reset it. I don't know what's going on. Let me go ahead and just restart it. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, just make sure the first box is checked. I think it, it was this program was all kind of messing up. So I'm just going to go do that again. Uh, and then you're going to just hit the start button. And that's pretty much it. Um, so open up the program. Make sure you have the blue box. Hit AP. Find the uh, root de la Vega tar.md5 file. Hit OK. Wait you know, a minute or two here uh, while the file loads. All right. And it says MD5 check successfully. I uh, hit start. And that's it. And this will install. Uh, modify version of your stock firmware um, that's going to get you root and also there's some additional stuff we got to do uh, but just let it let it sit here and also if you're using a usb hub i'm actually using a usb 3.0 hub and that's why it got stuck there if that happens to you you can replug it into a usb 2.0 hub like i did and just hit start again and that's one of the things um, if you're using also like just a USB hub, it might just freeze on you like that I showed you. Uh, but that's one of the things that can go wrong. And if you get any fail during um, this part and you get on your phone, it says a system encountered error 
uh, return to your Verizon store or whatever, don't panic. Just uh, reboot your phone uh, and it, it should still say firmware encounter mode. Just rerun this Odin and you should be all good to go. So that's, I've covered everything. Uh, I'm gonna let this fast forward and we'll continue when this is done. All right, folks, it is almost done. And uh, once it's done, it should reboot your phone and it will say pass, actually it will say reset with an exclamation mark. And then it will say pass with an exclamation mark. If you see that, um, you are pretty much good to go. Again, if you fail, you can always rerun this until it succeeds. And if you have trouble, um, change your USB port, uh, change the USB cable. If that doesn't work, try another computer. Sorry, this Odin 3 only says reset. Uh, anyway, it is resetting. You can go ahead and unplug it and let me show you what it's doing. It's going into the stock recovery and doing a factory reset. Um, and then it's going to reboot and your phone will be completely wiped and we'll go to the next step. Um, so I will be back when this completely reboots. All right, I'll be back. All right, when your phone has rebooted, um, go ahead and go through the initial stages again and uh, basically go through the setup wizard. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just skip everything. I'm gonna set it up later. All right, here we go. And once you've gone through here and you get the initial launcher here, eh, it's like spam, dude. They have to ask you too many questions. All right, go ahead and connect it back to your computer via micro USB computer. Uh, and make sure it's connected as a media device, as a disk drive. And then next we're gonna go ahead and close this up, uh, Odin V3.09. And then next you're gonna have to unzip the root de la vega.zip. So double click on it and I'm gonna extract all the files. And I'm gonna go ahead and extract it. And um, right now my, my phone's not connected again. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it uh, to another USB. I don't know, my USB hub's getting me a lot of trouble today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and reconnect it, make sure it's in MTP mode. It should show up here. There we go. SMN900V. Um, you're going to go ahead and copy these two files, root file folder and this, both of them. Just select them all, do right click, copy. Um, go to your uh, node 3 here, go to phone, and just paste it anywhere here, anywhere here works uh, in the root directory, not in the folder. So I've got uh, root de la vega. For some reason, uh, let me go ahead and refresh it. That's weird. Oh, there we go. I've got root files here and also root de la vega dot sh. All right, that's all you need to do. And next, what you're gonna do is go ahead and reboot your phone. All right, and when you reboot the phone, it's gonna run the actual root script and give you full root. And let me switch the camera angle now. So my phone is now rebooting and we're almost done here, folks. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is now we're gonna erase those files because we don't want them to, um, you'll see that I have super SE. Don't run it yet. Um, go to my files. It should be under tools. Go to My Files and go to All. And go ahead and go down and erase these two files. Oops. Click on the, uh, check the root vega.sh and root files and go ahead and delete those files. And delete it. And then reboot one more time and you should be fully rooted. And uh, I'll be back shortly when this completely reboots. All right, your, your uh, boot sign, uh, boot logo will show custom. Uh, which just shows that um, your phone has been rooted. Um, but this one does not increase your NOx counter. Uh, it only changes your system status. Uh, you can revert back just by uh, reinstalling stock firmware. Um, so it's a good deal here. And uh, let me go ahead and run Super SE once. All right. And it will ask you to update the binary binaries. Uh, hit continue and normal. And this will uh, fully root your phone. You don't have to reboot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign in here real quick and download Titanium Backup App for you real quick. 
All right, you can also go ahead and download Titanium Backup app. Uh, I highly recommend it for backing up your apps. Um, there we go, boom shakalaka. You got super user request, hit grant, uh, and go ahead and make a backup of your favorite apps later on um, after you've set up your phone. And also for restoring apps for Titanium Backup app, there's an extra step. Um, check the FAQ at, on my site at galaxynote3root.com. Uh, we have a fix for re restoring apps. Um, that's pretty much it, and you should have a fully rooted Verizon Galaxy Note 3. Um, don't forget to thank and uh, donate to XDA user Design Gears who made this root method. Uh, without him, we would not have this root method here now. Uh, I always have links on their credit sections on my site. Check that out and donate to him, or at least hit the thanks button if you're an XDA member. If you're not, go sign up for XDA and hit the thanks button. Um, definitely, you can do that at least. And uh, as always, uh, this video has helped you root your Verizon Note 3. Um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxynote3root.com. Uh, we send you ROM of the week, case of the week, uh, tips of the week, uh, hack of the week, all that good stuff once a week. Uh, not annoying, it's only for Note 3 stuff. Uh, I don't spam you or sell your email to anyone else. Uh, so definitely sign up for that. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button there. And I will see you guys soon. I'll have fun with your rooted to Verizon Galaxy Note 3. Yeah.